Well, good morning, everyone. Let's take our Bibles to Isaiah 49, 15 for promise number 282. And uh, let me just give you the promise really quickly. It says this, it says, even if your mother forgets you, I will never forget you. And that, that promise actually isn't even the completest version of the promise. That's the simplified version of the promise. And this promise, I mean, it just struck me uh, being a dad of four kids and knowing uh, what all it goes into making sure that your child is fed and just the, the, the routine of all of that and the habits that are formed in raising children. This one should actually really draw our attention towards the Lord with a great deal of comfort. Listen to verse number 15 of Isaiah 49. It says this, can a woman forget her sucking child? So it's, it's not just a child that you have. We're talking about, can a woman forget that she's nursing a child, uh, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. So think about that for a second. He says that a nursing mom might actually be able to forget that she has a child that's nursing she could actually conceivably do that. Now, now it's rare and it's weird to even think that way. But, but then, she, then he goes on and he says, can just any, old, just any mom forget to have compassion on her son? Well, that's probably more likely, but still very unlikely. It's a very rare occasion or a set of circumstances that would cause that. But even still, God says, they may forget, but I will never, that word never does not uh, mean uh, most of the time. It, it means all the time, I will always remember you. And so think of that. Isaiah gives us a powerful truth about God's attentiveness to his children. It may be possible, extremely rare, but possible for a mom to forget she has a nursing age baby, uh, but, but not for very long. Let's just be honest here, not for very long. Uh, but God is perfect and therefore unable to forget our needs. His love and compassion and perfection coupled with his infinite knowledge. I mean, God doesn't see in the limited linear way that we do where we could get onto another subject and just forget as we travel through time, forget something that's behind us. God sees all things equally and always. He's outside of our time and sees, think about this, he sees it all at once. Everything that's happening to God has already happened because he sees it all at once. He has a perfect vision of his creation. At the same time, he sees each individual thing without missing anything too. I mean, think about that. He sees each individual thing without missing any of it. Uh, if I get distracted, I can forget just about anything. Uh, you get me on a subject that I really enjoy and I could just talk away the time and forget that I promise something to somebody else that's of equally important uh, value. I mean, think about it. Uh, but a mom who has a baby uh, she is nursing would have a tough time forgetting. Her body would tell her that it's time to feed that baby and then remind her that she has a, a nursing age child. Uh, it's, it, there's just no way she can forget. Uh, but it's possible anyone could forget something in the right setting. But God never forgets us. His word tells us that he will never forsake us and he never loses track of us. Now that's a promise that should bring encouragement to anyone who ever thinks they are forgotten, that they're abandoned. God's eye is on you. Now I know that when you say I'm, I'm forgotten or abandoned, you're thinking about people. But infinitely better than having people remember you is to have God remember you. And because God is always remembering us, let that be an encouragement to you today. You're never alone. You're never forsaken. God is with you. He never forgets one of his own children. And so that is enough right there to keep us faithfully walking with the Lord. We forget him with ease. There's always more important things in, in our lives. And you might be saying, no, there's nothing more important than God. Well, that's easy to say. But many people live as if there's that God's important, but I'll get back to him when I have time. And, and they live their lives for other things that they value more. And they never worship the Lord. They never get back to the Lord. Occasionally spend time with God's people. But God wants us to know that he never loses track of us. He doesn't get distracted on quote unquote better things. He loves us and he has great a great vision for us from the start to the end of everything that he plans to do. So let that be an encouragement to you today. Have a great day.